the BBC presents A Life of Bliss. Being another episode in the life of David Alexander Bliss, better known to us as George Cole. Helping him to tell the story are Diana Churchill, Colin Gordon, Gladys Young, Petula Clark, Gladys Henson, Ernest J, Percy Edwards, Ruth Trouncer, Elsa Palmer, and the BBC Variety Orchestra conducted by Paul Fenollet. Although terribly shy and still a bachelor, David Bliss feels lost without a girlfriend, just as his daily help, Mrs. Griffin, would feel lost without a chat to her next-door neighbour. Here, has your Mr. Bliss found himself another girlfriend yet? Good gracious, no. Not that he's looking for one, really. He's just waiting and hoping. He's got to hope. Pretty girls don't go on trees. It wouldn't make no difference to him if they did. After all, you know what he's like. What do you mean? He'd be too scared to pick one and end up with a windfall. <laughs> and so over to his flat to meet the man himself, David Alexander Bliss. There we are. Home again. <laughs> go on then, in you go. I thought I heard the door. Oh, hello, Mrs. Griffin. We, we've been for a walk in the park. Whatever's come over you, you've been out early every morning this week. Why, well, I, I always take Psyche for a walk before I go to the office. Of course you don't. I do, you know. You don't? I do. <laughs> you keep out of this. <laughs> there you are. You see, she knows I'm right. Well, I, I always mean to go out anyway. Waking up's my trouble. My trouble's waking up my old man. Honestly, our married life's one long row. It's nothing but trouble morning and night. Well, why morning and night? Getting him up to go to work and waking him up to go to bed. <laughs> well, I can't see how your life can be one long row, then. Well, it is. But he's asleep most of the time. Yes, and you should hear the row. <laughs> Mind you, it's always the same. When you're caught in, he's so much in love he can't sleep. And you think he's the man of your dreams. And afterwards? Marriage opens your eyes and closes his. <laughs> well, I'm jolly glad I'm a bachelor. I was only joking. I know you were, really. It's time you find yourself a wife. Well, I don't see why. I sleep like a top. <laughs> it's a mistake to leave it too late. Well, why is it? A young bachelor marries his choice. An old bachelor marries his housekeeper. Well, I've got plenty of time yet. Yes, of course you have. I suppose you haven't found yourself a young lady. No. No, I'm afraid not. There's only one thing for it. You'll have to fall back on one of your old flames. Oh, no. No, look, we, we've been through this before. Through what? Old flames are out. I, I mean... It'd be better than not having a young lady. Oh, no, no, not for me, it wouldn't. Why? Well, I, I'm just not interested in old ladies. They in old <laughs> flames. <laughs> Besides, the, the right person will come along sooner or later. I, I, I'm in no hurry. Neither she, by the look of it. You might not meet her for ages. Oh, I might have met her already, for all you know. For all I know, come to that. That's the awful thing. What on earth are you talking about? I mean, it's all a matter of fate. I mean, you, you know that somewhere in the world there's somebody who's absolutely right for you. But you can't be sure when you'll meet her, or how, or where, or anything. You might never meet. On the other hand, you, you might meet her and then, well, never see her again. What's she like? Who? The girl you met in the park, Monday. <laughs> How on earth did you know? You've been out early every morning this week. Besides, you're as good as told me. Was it love at first sight? First and last. I haven't seen her again. <laughs> I doubt if I ever will. Oh, you never know. Did you speak to her? Only for a second. Oh, she, she, she was so wonderfully gay. Even her eyes seemed to be dancing. In step, I hope. Oh, no, but... <laughs> Seriously, she, she was. Blonde or brunette? Well, oh, Auburn. Short or tall? Just right. Nice figure. Well, yes, I suppose so. You're not sure? Well, of course I'm sure, only... Well, I, I didn't notice all that much. A bit on the skinny side, eh? Well, I say, steady on. <laughs> what was she doing in the park? Oh, taking her dog for a walk. <laughs> What's the matter with her? Love at first sight. <laughs> oh, well, I must be on my way. I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, all right. Have a nice time tonight. Tonight? You're going round to your sister's. Oh, oh yes, so I am. I don't know what you'd do without them now you haven't got a young lady. I know. Still, never mind. Something's bound to turn up before long. Something or somebody? Ah, uh, when my somebody turns up, she'll really be something. I wonder if I will see her again. <laughs> Anne? Who's that? Oh, it's all right. It's only me. Oh, hello, Poppet. How did you get in? Oh, Tony gave me his key. 
Leave the door, then. Uh, he's just putting the car away for the night. I've just been putting the children away. Well, it sounds as if you murdered them. Believe me, it was touch and go with Carol. Oh, there's Tony now. Darling. Yes? Will you go and kiss Carol goodnight? Oh, all right. Oh, and Tony. What? Alexander's asleep, so don't make a noise. Oh, no, I've had a hard day's work. That's what I mean. Take it quietly. <laughs> I've never known a baby cry less than Alexander. <laughs> I've never known a baby cry louder. Oh, I've never heard him. Well, no. You wouldn't where you live. They do say... <laughs> they do say the reception's quite good three doors away. <laughs> you know, it's time you settled down and had a family, Poppet. We must think of some nice girl for you. Oh, gosh, don't you start. I had enough of that with Mrs. Griffin. Don't worry. I wasn't serious. Well, I know you weren't. I know who'd be perfect for you. Pauline Massey. Pauline Massey? You must have met her. Helen Massey's sister. About 24 and awfully pretty. She's the perfect wife for you. Oh, will I be allowed to see her before I decide? Yes, of course. <laughs> I know. I'll give her a ring now. Oh, no, 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 please. No, no, I was only joking. Only joking about what? He's oh. terrified I'm going to marry him off to Pauline Massey. He's quite right to be terrified. It's a hobby with women. What is? Marrying people off. Now, don't be so silly. Why should we bother about other people? We have enough trouble getting ourselves married. Ah, now, that's very interesting. <laughs> so you admit you had trouble in finding a husband? No, in choosing one out of the many. Oh. I'm not sure I made the right choice even now. <laughs> women love to have a hand in arranging a marriage. Well, I can't think why we do. For the very same reasons you keep shifting the furniture around just for the fun of arranging it. Now, you'll have David taking you seriously. Did you put Carol's light out? Oh, no, 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 no. She wants a drink of water. All right, I'll see to it. You sit down. You must be tired. Yes, I am, rather. I've had a pretty tired. Where's my chair? Over there. What are you doing over there? I had to arrange something, and I haven't arranged a marriage in months. <laughs> have you, uh, you ever met her, Tony? Who, Pauline Massey? Uh, mm. Once, twice. Well, what, 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 what's she like? I can't remember her clearly. So she's obviously not attractive, not to me anyway. You may disagree when you meet her. Mm. If I ever do. Oh, you'll meet her all right. Anne will arrange that. Well, she wasn't serious. <laughs> no, not, 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 not that there'd be any harm in just meeting her. Oh, my dear chap. Famous last words. <laughs> oh, gracious, Tony. But she, she, she can't marry me without my consent. Uh, after all, Anne's my sister. I, I mean, she, she wouldn't want me to marry unless I was going to be happy. My dear fellow, women don't tackle it from that angle at all. You, you, you've only got to listen to them talking at a wedding to know that. They don't say, I think she'll make him awfully happy. No? No. They say, I think she'll be awfully good for him. <laughs> what, 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 what would you do if you were me? I'd stop it before it started. By, by saying she wasn't my type. Oh, how, how, how can I say that when I haven't met her? Well, pretend you have. I told Anne I hadn't. Well, well, you suddenly remembered you have met her, after all. Well, I suppose I could say that. Yeah. But m mind you, I still think that... Now, perhaps I can sit down for a few seconds. Huh. What were we talking about? I have met her, actually. Met? <laughs> met who? Pauline Massey. Have you? Yes, I suddenly remembered. When? Just now. When did you meet her? Oh, sorry, no, I, I don't remember exactly. Where? I, I don't remember that either. I've got a shocking memory. It wasn't here, was it? Uh, yes, yeah, yes, of course it was. I don't remember. Well, it must run in the family. <laughs> anyway, did you like her? Oh, she, she, she's not really my type. Not your type? Well, no. Why not? Well, you, you, you can't explain why someone isn't your type. Well, she, she just isn't, that's all. So, so you see, the, the, there wouldn't be any point in it. In what? In me marrying her. Uh, meeting her. I me meeting her again, I mean. You wouldn't by any chance be saying all this just... Oh, now, who on earth can that be? All right, I'll go. Yeah, I'll go. I'm up now. Oh, good. <laughs> oh, you're impossible. Gosh, I, jo I, I, I jolly nearly gave myself away. Yeah. Still, e even if I did it, it must be pretty obvious I don't want to meet Pauline Massey. Mm. Pauline, darling. Pauline. <laughs> well, we all have to do things we don't want to do. <laughs> you don't think Anne planned all this, do you? I, I mean, her coming round and everything. I haven't been a best man for ages. <laughs> Tony, what, what on earth do I say now? I mean, I, I'm supposed to have met her. Stick to your story. She'll think she's got a bad memory. In here, it's Pauline Massey, darling. Hello there. Hello. This is my brother, David. I, I, I think we've met, actually. Uh, yes, we have. We have? <laughs> <laughs> when? Oh, uh, I mean, I can't remember exactly wh wh when it was. At my sister's party. Oh, oh yes, of course. Gosh, you know, that's incredible. What? So we have met, after all. <laughs> after, after all these years. It, it was only last month. Yeah, well, I have no idea of time. 
Pauline wants to use the phone, darling. Oh, right. He's in the other room. I'll show you where. Thank you. I'm sorry to do this, but it happens to be awfully important. Honestly, Anne, I'm surprised at you. Uh, uh, arranging for her to c come round like this. I hadn't the faintest idea she was coming. Oh, you'll never convince me it was just a coincidence. Do you know who she's phoning? Her fiancé. Her fiancé? That's why she came round to tell me the glad news. I'm convinced. You know, you shouldn't listen to Tony, you know. All that nonsense about marrying people off, I'm not a bit like that. Well, I'm sure you're not really. I say, fancy her getting engaged. Yes, I know. We'll have to find somebody else for you. I don't... <laughs> I don't want anybody else. Well, well at least I, I do, only when I... What? The right person will come along sooner or later. <laughs> There we are. Home again. <coughs> go on, then. In you go. I thought I heard the door. Oh, hello, Mrs. Griffin. We, we, we've been for a walk in the park. Any luck? No. Oh, dear, that's nearly a fortnight now. I should give it up as a bad job. I mean, you can't spend the rest of your life looking for her. Oh, I don't know. It's a jolly healthy life. <laughs> oh, gracious, who can that be at this time in the morning? Oh, oh all right. I'll go. I must get on. Oh, uh, t -t 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 take Psyche with you. Yes, all right. Okay, coming. Oh, hello, Tony. How am I? What brings you out so early? I've got some bad news for you. Huh? Anne and your mother have joined forces and found you another girlfriend. Oh, gosh. Who, who, who is it this time? Oh, Penny Day or Gay. Something like that, anyway. You know her? No, but your mother practically admitted she was very dull. Not in those words, of course. Oh, why? Well, well, what, did, what did she say? Very suitable. <laughs> uh, <laughs> David, uh, you doing anything on Sunday? Well, I can't think of anything offhand. I should think pretty quick, then. That's when you're going to meet her. <laughs> Well, down at your mother's. No, no, look, this, this is ridiculous. I, I, I shall just say I, I don't want to meet her. You can't say that. You're not supposed to know she's going to be there. I, 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 I just don't believe it. I mean, they wouldn't play a trick like that on me. They would, you know, and without the slightest twinge of conscience. Women always have the perfect excuse. What's that? It's for your own good. <laughs> if you'll take my advice, you'll play safe and say you've been invited away for the weekend. No, I, I think perhaps I will. Uh, well, it's jolly nice of you to warn me, Tony. Oh, my dear chap. Besides, it isn't entirely unselfish. If you get out of it, we probably won't have to go. Why don't you want to? Well, I just don't want it to become too much of a habit. Oh, I'm very fond of your old man, of course, but, well, we just don't speak the same language. He talks about horses and shooting and fishing. Uh, oh, bless his old heart, he can be a bit of a bore, you know. <laughs> He's the only man I know who can tell you about the one that got away and still not see the joke. <laughs> Look, if that's Anne, for heaven's sake, don't say I'm here. She'd guess in a second. Oh, uh, right. Hello? Oh, hello, Poppet. Anne. Oh, hello, Anne. Are you rushing off to the office? No, uh, not, not, not for a second. I don't know what was the matter with Tony this morning. He went off terribly early. I know. You know? No, I know how busy he is. I, I, I'll have to go fairly soon, actually. All right, I won't keep you then. Now, are you doing anything on Sunday? Oh, well, yes. I, I've been invited away for the weekend. Oh, have you? Who by? Who by? Yes. Oh. Oh, now, for goodness sake, David, you must remember who you're staying with. Yes, I, I know. I'll think of someone in a minute. Don't... <laughs> Um, uh, uh, Eric Holmes. I see. I'd love to have come otherwise. Come where? Down to Mother's. <laughs> Who said anything about going down to Mother's? Well, you did. I didn't. Well, I wonder where I got it from, then. There were only three people, you know. Mother and I and Tony. It certainly wasn't me, and it can't have been Mother. Why? She asked me to ring you. Oh, did she? Yes, yeah, she did. Oh, well, that's thinned it out a bit. <laughs> Oh, now, don't be silly, David. You might just as well admit it was Tony. Oh, I, 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 I could have guessed, you know. After all, we, we go down there fairly often. That's true. I'm afraid Mother will be awfully disappointed still. I'll explain for you. Well, thank you. Look, look, I, I must go now, Anne. Yes, all right. Oh, David. Yes? Put Tony on for a second. Yes, of course. Hold up. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I, I thought as much. Oh, dear. So he came round to warn you. Well, no, no, he, he what, he, uh... Shall, shall I put him on? No. I'll speak to him later. I couldn't be more angry, David. Well, I'm sorry, but I... I'll see you on Sunday. I... Goodbye. Oh, gosh. Of all the blithering years. <laughs> I couldn't be more angry, David. <laughs> Out of the kindness of my heart, I come round here to warn you, and all you do is to land me in trouble. Sorry. I should think so, too. I'd better go before I say something I'll regret. I'll say this, though. If you can't cope better than that, you deserve anything you get. Even a wife. <laughs> Who was that? Your brother-in-law? Yes. What's the matter? You look as if you'd lost something. On the contrary, I've got something I don't want. 
Mother's found me a girlfriend. Oh, I am pleased. But I, I don't want anybody to find my girlfriends for me. I, I'll find my own. Oh, I'll believe that when I see you. <laughs> Hello, Father. Hello, David. Come along in. I'm just telling Tony about a fish that got away the other afternoon. <laughs> Why? Well, well, what, what happened? Oh, I won't bore you with it. It's a long story. About that long. Longer than that. Oh, where, 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 where is everybody? Well, and your mother getting the tea ready, I think. Well, what, what, what time's Penny Gay coming? Any min minute now, I expect. Oh, do, do, do you know her, Father? No, I've known her since she was no bigger than that. Used to bounce her on my knee. I haven't seen her lately, though. One of the ones that got away. <laughs> what's, um, what, what, what's she like now? Oh, she's a pretty little thing. Your mother thinks a lot of her. She's always saying she'll make her somebody a good wife. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's right. You don't want to let mother choose your wife for you. Women haven't the foggiest notion what men find attractive. Oh, I, I thought you said she was pretty. Well, being pretty is not enough. A girl's got to have that... That spark, that fire, that... Oh, you can't put it into words, really. No, you need exclamation marks. <laughs> that, um, that, that indefinable something that makes the old heart thump. Yes, and the old eyes pop. <laughs> oh, doesn't, doesn't a pretty girl do all that? Bless my heart, David. A pretty woman's like, well, like a beautiful meal. It's nice to have all the trimmings, but it's still no good if it's cold. <laughs> Far better to, uh, to settle for something plain but hot. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yes, or, or, or a continental dish. What? <laughs> oh, I, I, I couldn't agree more. I am surprised, aren't you? <laughs> Why? Well, for agreeing. Well, of course I agree. I, I mean, there's nothing worse than cold food. <laughs> David, old boy, we were talking about women. Yes, I know, but then you started talking about food. <laughs> you, you said you liked it hot. Yes. <laughs> Hot, meaning, well, uh... <laughs> Gosh, I see. No, but seriously, though, there's nothing worse than cold food. Yeah. <laughs> uh, on second thought, perhaps it's a good idea to let Mother find your wife. Why? Well, she's bound to choose a good cook. Well, I wish to goodness I'd got a girlfriend. It's caused nothing but trouble. Trouble with Anne, trouble with Tony. Oh, that's all over and forgotten. Yes, I know, but I still feel guilty about it. Yeah. After all, it's my fault you had to come down here. Had to come? <laughs> I had to come down here and, and, and make polite conversation to Penny and, instead of chatting to you. Oh, well, of course, if it's causing all that trouble, and I do see your point, why not invent a girlfriend? Well, how do you mean? Well, say you found one after all. That'd keep Anne and Mother at bay. Gosh, you know, that's not a bad idea. Yeah. Oh, but then I'd have told Anne about her when she suggested meeting Penny. Oh, but that was three or four days ago. Anything could have happened since then. Yes, well, wait a minute. You'll need to have a pretty complete picture of her, though. Yes, I know. Now, what sort of girl would she be? Now, let's think. Well, it's no good you or me thinking. Let David think. Uh, blonde or brunette, David? Well, Auburn, really. Uh, tall or short? Well, just right. Age? About 20, I should think. Eyes, brown. Complexion, beautiful. With a, a, a wonderfully gay personality. Yeah, a nice figure to round it off, eh? <laughs> well, yes. Yes, jo jo jolly nice. And, and not a bit skinny, either. I say, what an imagination. <laughs> I didn't know you had it in you. Right, now, now, now we'll give her a name. And where, where's the telephone, Gregory? What? Oh, yeah, there they are. You know, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> <laughs> now, do you think she's an A to D? Oh, it could be. I tell you what, I'll open it at random and that'll be it. Ready? Huh? Right, from henceforth she shall be known as... I can't read it without my glasses. What's the first one, David? African. African? <laughs> Odd name. <laughs> All right, I'll have another shot. Now, uh, there we are. Alan. What about a Christian name? Monica. I say, that was quick. Why a terrible name like Monica? <laughs> I don't know. It, it, it just seems to fit. Monica Alan. All right, she's your figment. My what? <laughs> figment of your imagination. Oh, she's not, actually. She, 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 she's real. I, I saw her in the park one morning. And you let one like that get away? Why, you're worse than your father. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've been there every day. Oh, hello, Mother. Hello, dear. He'll be ready soon. Good show. What have you been talking about? Well, David's been telling us about his latest, haven't you, David? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, I have. Uh, latest what? The figment. 
Where well, made his girlfriend? You haven't got a girlfriend. Oh, I have. I, I met her about a fortnight, four, 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 four days ago. <laughs> she sounds a smasher. Then I probably won't approve. Whatever not. You were a smasher, you know. <laughs> Thank you, dear. And you were quite a stunner yourself. <laughs> What's her name, David? African. No. <laughs> Ellen. M- M- Monica Ellen. What on earth made you say African? Oh, well, she's... She bit... comes from South Africa. <laughs> oh. oh, Monica. Yes, yes, she does. Is she nice? Um, oh, what well, well, wonderful. You wait till you see Penny. You'll think she's even more wonderful. I doubt if you will, you know. It's pretty serious, isn't it, David? Oh, yes. Yes, it is. But you've only known her a few days. Oh, it, it was love at first sight. Yes, well, I shouldn't do anything about it yet. It's a mistake to rush these things. Nonsense. We were married three weeks after we met. Yes, that's what I mean. It's a mistake. <laughs> Where did you meet her, David? In the park. In the park? Oh, yes, I, I was out with Psyche, and she was taking her dog for a walk. She, she was absolutely wonderful. When are you seeing her again? I doubt if I ever will. They ever, ever will meet anyone. I could love as much. Are you sure? Oh, pretty sure. David, my dear, how exciting. I couldn't be more pleased. <laughs> oh, oh. Hello, then. What's she so excited about? Oh, I have the vaguest idea. Psyche. In here. Here's Penny, Mother. Oh, hello, dear. I didn't oh, hear the door. No, it was open. I, I saw Anne in the garden. I'll go and make the tea. Thank you, dear. Uh, you know Father, of course. Oh, yes. Hello there. Hello. Anne's husband, Tony. How do you do? Uh, and my son, David. How do you do? Uh, how do you do? <laughs> I'm sure you won't remember if we have met. Yes, in the park about a fortnight ago. Gosh, you do remember. You must spend your life in the park, David. <laughs> well, I, I have recently. I, I haven't seen you there, though. Well, no. I, I always mean to take Tug out, but I never wake up. What sort of dog have you got, Penny? Well, he's a wire-haired terrier, too. Yes, I know. You, you didn't bring him. No, he's at home. Psyche, Psyche hasn't looked at another dog since. I don't believe it. Well, it's true. Come to that, neither have I. What? Looked at another dog. <laughs> looked at another girl since. Uh, since you met Monica. No, no, since I met... Oh, yes. <laughs> since I met Monica. Uh, David's got the most exciting news. He's getting engaged. Oh, no, 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 look. I, 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 I didn't say that. Oh, uh, you did, David. Well, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not, anyway. I mean, not now. I mean, not till I'm absolutely sure. But you said you were sure. Oh, but it's it, it, a mistake to, to rush these things. Nonsense. Your father and I were married three weeks after we met. Uh, yes, I know, but, well, I, I mean, I, I, I might meet someone I, I liked even more. Now, you said you never would. Did I? Yes. Well, I've been talking too much. <laughs> I mean, I... Oh, for goodness sake, David. Penny will wonder what's the matter with you. David's always been so terribly shy. No, it, it isn't that, really. Of course it is. Uh, before Penny came, it was nothing but Monica. You know that's true. Yes, that's true. I must say, I'm not awfully fond of the name Monica. Well, neither am I. I can't think why I chose it. The why <laughs> my parents chose it. Well, my, my, mind you, they, they do go together quite well. Monica Allen. Monica Allen? Yes. I thought she was married. Who? Monica. Oh, good heavens. What? Well, don't tell me there is one. I mean, there is one person who knows her. I went to school with her. Oh, gosh, what a coincidence. Tea's all ready, Mother. Oh, all right. Come along, everybody. It's in the other room. Tony. What? It's her. It's, it's the one I met in the park. Yes, so I gathered. Oh, what, what on earth can I do? Well, there's not much you can do. You've got, you've got yourself in a real mess, haven't you? But it, 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 it was your idea. Yes, I know. And look how well it worked. <laughs> Oh, ca coming. Oh. Good morning, Mrs. Griffin. Sorry, I left my key behind. Oh, that, that's all right. Here, do you know what they're saying about you? What? They're saying you're going round with a married woman. <laughs> <laughs> going round with... I, I'm not going around with anyone. That's what they're saying. Well, you don't believe it. Of course I don't believe it. I know you far too well for that. Besides, I got it from my next-door neighbour. Oh, but it, it's fantastic. She did tell me the name of the woman now, uh... Monica Graham. Well, there you are. I've never even heard of... M- Monica... Monica Allen. No, Graham. Monica Allen's that girl you used to know years ago. You know, when I first came here for, with you. Oh, gosh, no wonder it fitted. <laughs> How on earth did your next-door neighbour hear about it? From her next-door neighbour. Yes, but where did she get it from? Oh, do you really want me to go on? It's ever such a long street. <laughs> Honestly, you know, it's true. Tr- tr- troubles never do come singly. I shouldn't worry about it if I was you. What's the matter with Psyche? She's left her breakfast. Mm, she's one of my troubles. I don't know whether she's sulking because I haven't taken her for a walk <coughs> or whether it's love. <laughs> oh, you are daft about that dog. There's the front door now. No, all right, all right, I'll go. 
Oh, hello, Mother. I didn't know you were coming up today. Anne and I are going shopping. Well, oh, jolly early. Yes, I know. I wanted to catch you before you left for the office. Why? I was wondering if you'd like to have lunch with us. Oh, it's jolly nice of you. Uh, you and your fiancé. My fiancé? Mm. Oh, Monica, Monica. Oh, oh, no, I'm afraid Monica can't come. She, she's um, having lunch with somebody else. Well, how about tea, then? She's booked up all oh. day. Oh, dear, what a shame. Still, never mind. I'll be coming up again next week. I'm longing to see her, David. Yes, I'm sure you are. Father's coming up with me so we can all have lunch together. Well, I'm awfully sorry, Mother, but she, she, she's booked up that day, too. Well, we're not sure which day we're coming. <laughs> she's not sure when she's booked up. I mean... <laughs> not... Oh, excuse me. Uh, hello? Philip? Oh, yes? Graham here. Monica Graham's husband. Oh, dear. What's this ridiculous rumor about you seeing my wife? Oh, that, 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 that's just what it is. R ridiculous. I know that, but I gather you started it. You started what? All this nonsense about her. Oh, no, no, you're wrong. Honestly, you are. I, I haven't started any nonsense with her. What? Uh, about her. Uh, uh... <laughs> the better stop anyway, otherwise there'll be trouble, understand? Well, I'm terribly sorry, but I... I, I... Oh, gosh, she's gone. Oh, sorry, Mother. What, 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 what were we talking about? Uh, your fiancé. Oh, yes, of course. Who was that? Her husband. Surprised <laughs> at you, Dave. No, look, there's nothing to it, honestly. All right, I'll go. I, I, I know what people are saying, but it's just... Just a figment of their imagination. Well, yes, that's exactly what... You know? <laughs> I've known all along, really. It's your sister. Hello, oh. Poppet. Oh, hello, Anne. Look, how long before you have to go to the office? Oh, about, about, about ten minutes. Why? If you rush, if you rush along to the park, you'll see something to your advantage. See something to my advantage. I was on the phone to Penny a few moments ago. She said she was going to take Tug for a walk. <laughs> well, how, how am I going to explain to her? You don't have to explain anything. It's all been arranged. What? By you? You know what we women are. Oh, gosh, thank you, Anne. Oh, c c come on, Psyche. <laughs> God bless you both. <laughs> Come along then, Psyche. Oh, look, look, there, there, there she is. Oh, and, 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 and there, there's, there's Tug. Go, go on then. Good morning. Hello. Isn't it a lovely morning? Oh, it's a perfect morning. Gosh, it's jolly nice to see you again. It's nice to see you. You know, I, 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 I wouldn't dream of admitting I, I'd run after a girl, but, well, I don't mind admitting that as far as you're concerned, I... You what? I've put in a lot of walking... You've been listening to A Life of Bliss. Those taking part were David Bliss, George Cole, Anne Fellows, Diana Churchill, Tony Fellows, Colin Gordon. Mrs. Bliss, Gladys Young, Mr. Bliss, Ernest J, Mrs. Griffin, Gladys Henson, Penny Gay, Petula Clark, Psyche the Dog, Percy Edwards, The Neighbor, Elsa Palmer, Pauline Massey, Ruth Trouncer. With the BBC Variety Orchestra, conducted by Paul Fenollet, with music scored by Bob Sharples. The script was written by Godfrey Harrison, and this recorded program was produced by Leslie Bridgemont. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.